From the News Channel 5 Network, I'm Carrie Sharp with a check of your headlines. Police are asking for the public's help to find who beat a woman to death. Clarksville police say Carol Bowman was found inside her home on Church Street on Monday after her property manager had not seen Bowman in an unusual amount of time. The preliminary autopsy report says she died from blunt force trauma. If you have any information about this case, call police. We have new information on a crash that left two people dead yesterday. Joe Throneberry was driving on Weekly Lane in Mount Juliet when he missed a turn, ran off the road and crashed. His passenger, Donnie Robertson, was also killed. According to the Tennessee Highway Patrol, this is the seventh crash on that curve this year. Music Row has been named one of America's most endangered historic places. That's according to the National Trust for Historic Preservation. Its annual list highlights 11 places that are, quote, important examples of our nation's architectural and cultural heritage that are at risk of destruction or irreparable damage. The group says there have been 50 demolitions on Music Row since 2013, and many of those to build new condos. With CMA Fest just a week away, you'll want to know how to get around town during this busy weekend ahead. Road closures happen in stages, with the first starting tonight. Notable closures include Broadway from 1st to 4th Avenue, then 5th Avenue from Broadway to Korean Vets Boulevard, and Demumbrian from 4th to 6th Avenue. For a full list of closures, head to our website, newschannel5.com. Let's get checking the forecast now with meteorologist Bree Smith. So we've had some showers and storms. Thankfully, that helped cool things off today. First day where we weren't in the 90s in quite some time. 66 overnight tonight. Skies becoming dry, also beginning to clear. A little bit of patchy fog, not impossible, especially for folks that had heavier downpours during the afternoon hours of Thursday. Drier skies and somewhat cooler conditions on Friday. 85 to end your work week. Still warm, but it's better than the low 90s we had to endure to start our work week. A few afternoon showers and storms possible Saturday, Sunday, but no widespread soakers in the next seven days.